If you are in Veliko Tarnova and you love coffee and books, you can always go to page 394. It's a small and cozy place in the center of town, owned by two Harry Potter fans. They are Blagova Silistov and Yanitza Petrov. The youngsters are both partners in life in business. Their coffee shop is named after a quote from the third book for Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. There you can drink cocktails named after books, meet authors who can represent their latest work, play board games with the local fans or even join the new book club called Literature Nova. The club was also created last year by the owners of the coffee shop, the founders of the online platform for literature, art and culture, Tetra Ducata and Angelot and Minmas, local writer. The main purpose of Literaturno is to gather people who share the same passion for literature and books. During every meeting, the club members discuss a new book that they have chosen during the previous gathering. We decided to pay them a visit this month, when they are talking about two different authors and two different books. The writers are Dimitar Talev and John Steinbeck, and selected novels are Best of Us by Talev and Of Mice and Men by Steinbeck. When we enter the place, our team is greeted by Blagos Christo. Nice to see you. Uh, first, uh, can you tell us uh, a little bit uh, more about uh, Literature Novo? Well, uh, hi, hello. Uh, well, about Literature Novo, this is um, a, a, a club that we formed here at the page. Uh, it's just for people who just enjoy reading and like to share their emotions and the experience, the yeah. things that they experienced from this reading. Yeah, it's simple. <laughs> good, good. Uh, okay, uh, when was your uh, first meeting? Uh, I don't remember actually. I think it was around November last year, yeah, 2019. I think it was November 2019. Uh, good. Uh, how did you uh, decide uh, to start uh, the club? It is actually a decision that um, was taken from three guys. It's yeah. me, it's uh, Wachazar, uh, who just came, uh, he came here. And there is a guy who's called, who, his name is Cvetan. He's also known and, as Anga Watt. And we just sat together and talked about something like this and... Yeah, we just wanted to make people read a bit more yeah. and share uh, their yeah their thoughts about what they've they have read. Yeah. Good. Good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, is there a hidden message behind uh, the name? Uh, yeah, actually, the name uh, came from this Svetan Angawot. Uh, his stage name is Angawot, so it comes from literature and from the name of the town that we are uh, situated. It's Veliko Trnovo, so that's why it's Litera uh, Trnovo. It's in Bulgarian. It, it makes more sense in Bulgarian. Good, good. Uh, it's very good, really. Okay, uh, how many people uh, come uh, to I mean a uh, meeting? Uh, it depends on the day, but usually between, let's say, 10 to 15 people because this is still the beginning and, yeah, uh, we still need to, be to, to get more people involved in all of this. Good, good. Uh, okay, it's easy to, to, to decide which book to read and comment next. Actually, this is the hardest part of, 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 of all because um, there are different people and they have different tastes in literature. They like different genres. And it's tough to decide which book we're going to discuss. And yeah, it's actually tough. We, we try to vote, but still the, the, the results are very narrow. And yeah, it's tough. Okay, it's really okay good. Okay. Uh, how do you uh, pick uh, the books and uh, the authors? We just uh, sit, all of the guys that are uh, at the meetings, and we sit and talk and just pop up with some suggestions about next next time. We try to, to mix the things. We want to have a Bulgarian writer or author yeah. and a foreign one. Yeah. 
and the vote should be between the Bulgarian one and the foreign one. Uh, usually, usually, uh, actually, no, 50-50 is the results uh, up until now. We have, we've discussed Hesse already. Tonight we should be talking about Steinbeck and uh, Talev. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Good. Okay, uh, uh, can you, anybody join uh, the club? Oh yeah, it's absolutely open. You don't have to be uh, some student, or you don't have to be. Uh, you don't have to graduate. So anybody, anybody can join. It's it's open, guys. So <laughs> come in. No. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, uh, you are also an uh, own uh, of page uh, 394. Uh, when the, did you open uh, the place? Well, um, actually, I'm the co-owner. Uh, yeah. I own this place together with my girlfriend. Okay. So we opened the end of June 2019. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. okay good. Uh, it is named uh, after a quote uh, from the third book for Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of uh, Azkaban. <laughs> what is the meaning of the quote? This really comes from the third book, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Yep. There is this really spooky teacher, he's Professor Snape, everybody knows Professor <laughs> Snape, and everybody loves him. So uh, he just wanted to, to make fun of, his, uh, of a colleague of his, uh, Professor Lupin. Uh, Lupin turned out to be a werewolf, and uh, in the book there is a student book about defense against the dark arts, and in this Defense Against Dark Art student book, there is this page, and on this page is the lesson about werewolves. And to be a werewolf is actually a bad thing when we talk about the world of Harry Potter. And yeah, this is what is on page 394. And in reality, this, just this expression turned to page 394. <laughs> Just is a big thing with the yeah, Harry Potter yeah. fans and yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, you also serve uh, delicious cocktails and uh, with names uh, inspired by books. Okay, c uh, could you tell more about uh, one of them? About one of them? Yeah. Uh, actually, right now I'm holding uh, this so-called pink water. Yeah. Uh, it's from Harry Potter. Uh, it's it's nothing that that special actually. It's just soda, but it's it's sweet. It's yeah. sweet. We all ha we also have uh, yeah. cocktails from the Lord of the Rings. Uh, we have um, pipe weed juice and poly juice potion, and yeah, they're just not the normal uh, taste for the, a Bulgarian, uh, you know, bar or something like this. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, your other uh, passion uh, passion is uh, theater. Okay, you were one of the actors uh, and the students. Okay, theater, uh, mask and robe. Okay, which play did you uh, last uh, took part in and what uh, was it uh, about? Um, let me try to remember. It was it was it was called Escorial, actually. Uh, this was play. Uh, this was a play um, about uh, a mad a mad king yeah. and his uh, his his clown. So it was really very very um, very different from normal theaters, uh, from normal play because we played uh, me and the clown. We, it, it was just us two, and me as a king, I just found out that my, the clown and my best friend actually slept with my wife, the queen. So I had poisoned the queen and then tried to, uh, tried to, to, to make the, the clown feel guilty about all of this. And at some point we switched our places, you know, the king became, became the clown and the clown became the king. It was really uh, not a standard play. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was very groom and dark and with poison and with dark magic. And we, are, and we were only in, in, in some sort of tights. So it was rather embarrassing because, you know, my body is not in perfect shape right now. Yeah, and it was a bit, uh, you know, I was a bit ashamed, but... Uh, okay, good, good. <laughs> okay, uh, the new year began, and usually people are making uh, their new year's uh, resolutions uh, now. Okay, do you have uh, one of your uh, own? A new year's uh, resolution, well, I'm not that kind of person, actually, yeah. but if, if there is something uh, I found out 
it's the popular common standard thing. I just want me and my girlfriend to be healthy and to stay strong uh, because yeah, with this bookshop that we have, we have to put a lot of efforts in it. And yeah, we just want to be healthy and strong so we can. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, finally, uh, what do you wish uh, for yourself uh, for the new year and uh, what do you wish uh, to all the people who are listening and watching us? <laughs> oh, as I said, health, yes. Uh, for me personally, I want to have more time for reading. And to wish all the people, I wish them to have more time for reading because this is something that can really open your eyes and open your world and, 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 and expand it. And so, yeah, I wish all of us have more time to read. That's it. Radio Evolution is supported by Erasmus Plus program of the European Union. 